All right, so it's a brand new day and the sun is high and I'm thinking that with all the archers, Hinoka might not be the best choice. I don't think that I ever really got to have her do much because I was very concerned the entire time about her just being insta-killed, you know? Um, so I think for this one, we're gonna turn her off and I think that I'll have Oboro instead. As you guys know, you know, I, I have my main team. Like these are the guys that I want basically up here. Um, and so these guys, you know, I just don't want to use that much like on my main team. It, but I do want to be able to, you know, switch people off when I think it's necessary. And I think this might be necessary just because, again, as I explained, Hinoka, she doesn't really fit in here. It's hard to make use of her with everyone against her. So, hopefully having Oboro instead will mean that I do have an extra unit that I can use and actually rely upon. Um, I also considered Hinata and a little bit Silas, but... I don't know. I mean, right now he's only level 6 compared to the rest, so he's rather weak. Um, so we're gonna have a Bodo, and hopefully it works out. Fight! Go! Alright, so at this point, I could either kill this dude, most likely. Um, Takumi can't help here, unfortunately. Darn it. Then I should probably do this, but I wonder if it's even the right choice to have her here. Because who else could? He could hit her. He couldn't. Um, he couldn't either, actually. So it would just be this dude, and this dude. Now, I don't know what kind of damage they would do to her, and that's part of the issue, because she would take two hits, and whatever damage the trap would do. It might be better to just stall another turn. I think that's what I'm gonna have to do, actually. I think I'm just gonna have to wait another turn. See what happens. Uh, I guess in the meantime, rally up. Everyone gets luck. And let's see what happens. Let's fight together. So nothing terrible. I mean, she's lowering her defense more. Oh, he almost finishes. Almost finishes this person off. Man, surviving with one health, that's just terrible, because now I have to, like, waste a unit on that. Alright, but we are moving people, or we're having them move forward, rather. Which, you know, we could use to our advantage. He'd almost help, or almost kill him. But not quite. Hmm. She can't move up to this one. So we have to make sure that we can actually take these people out, otherwise they're gonna be a big problem. Now that we have all of them moving in here. Like, I was waiting, but I thought they more would come out, like, past the two stationary people. And they didn't, so... An issue. Might be good. Like, I definitely need to heal people. I'm trying to figure out how I want to position everyone for that purpose. Let's try this. Hopefully it's not a terrible position. And hopefully this is a good level. The first time she got like six, the second time she got two or three. Good, another six, okay. Phew, hopefully I make it then. Because now I also want to heal Takami. And I forgot that we got to see it in action. He gets healed too for whatever damage he deals. Or, heals. Definitely nice. Where can you guys go? That's... that's not too bad. One, two, three, four... Yeah, and you actually don't have a, a range thing, so that is as far as you could go. So if I go down here... Let me shoot you. Hi, girl. I know. Kitty wants attention, huh? You didn't want attention any time before this, but now that I'm recording, huh? Yeah. Because you think I'm talking to you. Alright. So that happened. And now we need to have someone move forward. I didn't think this entirely through.
Guess I can I can easily do that. Like they would definitely die from that. But is that what I want? I don't know. Could you get the diviner actually back there? Yeah, you would get the diviner pretty much instantly. Yeah, and that might be a good thing to do. But then moving her there, everyone would be able to hit her as well. So that probably would not be a good thing to do, now that I think more about it. Your defense is 6, your defense is 11. Here's just 14, even lowered it's 14. So it might be good to take him out. However, what's her resistance? Her resistance is 4 right now, and she would be, like, right in front of that dude. So if Setsuna here, and he t she takes out the Diviner, it's still this guy, this guy, and this guy that can all attack her. And then this guy, if we don't take care of him. So I have to be able to find a way, basically, to take out multiple people this turn. And this, w this one would do it. Probably trust this one more for the defensive bonuses, the Dragonstone. Could you take out the Diviner too? You could. But if you could go one step farther too. Hmm. I mean, again, the bad guys, like, they can't reach this spot. So if I put a melee person here, they would be safe. So I could have, like, Mozu go up there. Or a Bodo even, because I haven't used her at all yet. And she does have a high defense, so things... If it were to come to that... And I've spent a lot, long time on this part. I don't want to just instantly die again. I think I want to do this, though. Go. Keep it together! I'm glad it hit. So there goes the Diviner. Okay. Good. Like one thing down. So many others to go, huh? Yeah. He would have to hit both times, but I, I think he could. So do that. Right? Yeah. Okay, you do that. Go. He hit both times. Good. <laughs> and now I can have Catrian move down. And instantly take out this guy. Go. And still hope that taking out all these people will be enough. Because we still do have people coming in from the bottom. They will attack us, you know, this very next turn. I did it! But I'm just hoping that we take care of everyone here without taking damage. And then we can deal with these guys more easily. I know that this dude isn't... Oh, actually, now he is moving. Now they're both moving. Scratch that. I know he has range, I'm just checking things. So it would obviously be better here. Well, no, not even, because then it would... Well, we wouldn't get hit, but we would have the damage because we don't have a partner helping us. So I can always have her do that. Oh, and uh, I can always have Azura sing for someone too. Probably talk to me at this point. He could just like take out this dude or whatever. If I can take out this guy. But to be close enough to get him, these guys might be able to... Yeah, these guys would be able to reach. Or that one, rather. Okay, you have the range. So I guess, yeah, get the more accurate one. Go. Leave it to me. <laughs> As I expected. One guy down. The one with one health left, because he was dumb. I mean, she could, but she wouldn't like. She wouldn't be dodging these guys appear any better. I guess that guy? 
That guy actually would be the only one who could reach her, though. From that side. These people could also reach. And she wouldn't even, like, do a terrible amount. I mean, she'd do half the damage, but that's half the damage. I would need more. Okay, if I had Rinka go and attack that one, or even this one for that matter, actually, that might be better so that I could clear the way for Takami to go in. So if I had Rinka do this, that's 8 damage. And then it would actually make his resistance lower, so then if I did have Hayato finish... So 8, and currently you could do... 8. Yeah, I don't think it would lower it that much. He would get hit, maybe. That's actually 53% chance to hit. I think I'm gonna do that. Um, yeah, I'd rather just guarantee the damage. Go! You know, guarantee I hit and do 8 damage, then potentially miss for one more point of damage. So now that he has resistance of 0... Yeah, this is looking better. Um... So we could either do 18 or 28. But I'd rather Rinka for the support, I think, that we've gotten so far. So with that, and his hit stays the same every time. Okay, go. Let's go together. Okay, so one archer down, or one more. And since it, I mean, this way we're gonna block this guy inside. So we can only shoot either, you know, Hayato, who's ranged, Takami, well, actually I'm gonna move Takami probably, or Kaze, who's ranged. And she will be attacked by this guy, but I'm, I like to think that she would be able to survive one attack from him, even if she does get hit by it, you know? Again, her defense is seven right now. Mozu's is 10. She actually stands a better chance of doing this. I'm gonna have Mozu do it. Go. Hopefully I don't regret this, you know? Hopefully I don't. Okay. So now for you. Oh, I could have had a Boro too. Didn't even think about her. Used to not having her still, obviously enough. Takami, go! I really hope this is the time we win. That would be nice. Um, yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll kill him instantly, so let's do that. We'll teach them a lesson. I mean, the ninja are the worst ones on this map so far because they lower our defense. Then anyone can do a ton of damage, you know? Defense and resistance, I'm pretty sure. See, that that guy will be able to hit, but if he does attack Takami, he should die this turn as well. And that's the only one here who can attack Takami. And I'm glad he can't because I didn't think that they could go through this. Like, I didn't check. So I'm thinking that everyone should be fine here. I know I'm putting her on the trap, but I want her a little closer and go. Let's see how this turns out. We will crush them. Okay, some more damage than I thought because I didn't think that they were going to move someone first just to have him be supported, but it makes sense that they did. And thankfully, we were able to dodge the second one. Same thing here, didn't think about them moving in for support. Ow. Ow. So his defense is lowered at the very least. We'll teach them a lesson. And this guy will not be dead, but getting close. Getting close. Don't forget me. Whew, that's your turn, right? Yes. Okay, we can live with this. I think, I think we can work with this. Hopefully. And everyone within spaces of Azura get healed. That's her thing, right? 
I knew it was someone's, but I didn't remember who it was, honestly. Allies within two spaces heal up to 10% HP at the start of their turn. Heck yes, okay. So that worked out well for us. Um, pretty much instantly kill him, so that would be good. But by this point, these guys are also, they would also be able to attack him. So it's getting more and more dangerous is the issue. Like, it might be smart to back out of this position. And let them come to us a little more, you know, just fall back. Kind of hold. <laughs> hold the position over the traps, which is weird. But yeah. Um, I think I want to get Mozu out of there. Well, this would definitely work. I'm surprised, actually, by how much damage that would do. Is it just because I'm pairing with... Catrian right now? Would it really do that much? Oh, Dragon Vein. I'm like, what's the green? Um, maybe I should have a Boro actually do something. I mean, if this hits, that would work. So let's do that. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Show me what you've got. Son of a gun! You're 91 missed! Ah. I see, I might as well at that point have just had someone else attack. Because a number of people could have killed them instantly. Son of a... Oh, I hate that. It's so annoying. Well, I just have this dude to deal with up here. So as long as I get rid of, like, these two and this one, like, that'll be the only one I have to take care of. Like, worry about rushing. For it. It's 100%, so I know she won't die. Good job, Mozu. Okay. And this would kill two, assuming that, you know, they both hit. Which I would hope for. 99 and 91, they should, so. Yeah, go. Thank you, Mozu. I appreciate the offer. <laughs> okay, there we go. I can always count on you. And Catron got a level. Hopefully, it's good. Let's see. This nope. Is my chance. Sucked. That was a bad level. You should feel bad. All right. Well, just to take care of this dude now. I mean, honestly, it would be good for, like, Kaze to be moving with Takami, because Kaze lowers defense. Then again, Takami hasn't really needed anything. Uh, either way, give me a minute. Okay, so, if we have Kaze move down here, attack him, he would take 11 damage and then be able to be hit, and that probably wouldn't be good. If we have Kaze instead, just take him out. I mean, he could do this from any position. He could stay here. Or move here, or here. So it's about positioning. Or I could always have someone else take him out, like Hayato. Um, because Kaze with Takami, yeah, it wouldn't make much of a difference because he was already able to take him out. Like, even on his own, he could do it. Um, being paired with someone would be nice for the sake of, like, boosting his hit chance, his accuracy. But aside from that, there's no real need. Uh, there are other people. Like, this person, you know, wouldn't be able to reach but they would be able to stand close enough to the Diviner to be able to attack two. So, I mean, ideally... I was gonna say, ideally, I could have someone else take him out and have Takami rush and get this guy, but then there'd be it's just kind of the same thing, you know? These two would be able to attack. And actually, both would be able to, you know, hit him head-on. Um... This would take him out, though... And then if I could have... I mean, again, it'd be kind of the same thing. And he wouldn't be that likely to hit. And 14 damage! I did not realize Diviners would do that much. If the Diviner were only supporting this guy, that'd be different. But this would... He would actually be able to hit Takami. 
So I would say I want to take him out this turn, so I don't have to deal with that, but then I would still have this Diviner to take care of. Um, so there's some issues with that for sure. I could have everyone, like, just flat out fall back. I mean, you have a movement of five, so one, two, three, four, five. The best you could hit is right where she's standing. So if I move everyone, like, one back, and let's just take care of him real quick like this. This should be interesting. He had 100%, so again, wasn't gonna miss. Let's see what his level up is, please be good. Okay, good. He's known to have bad levels, you know, so this one was actually quite refreshing. He got magic instead of strength, too, which is always nice. Um... So then I want Takumi, yeah, to be standing, like, here. So we'll do that. Just making sure... I could have him... could you reach so Jacob actually would be saving those butchers from him and it wouldn't be the end of the world you know if he got oh hold on actually would you be able to hit Mozu not not if I have well if I move her yeah you would then again I have it so the diviner cannot reach talk me so Takami should be fine surviving one more turn against this guy, especially when he has no supports. So if I move him, or her here, if I have Rinka there, then Jacob can go here. I really hope she can- she, can, she should be able to take 20 damage from this guy. I mean, rather, she has 20 health. So that should be okay. Hopefully. It's it's hard to say for sure, you know? Just step back once. That was a mistake to step back just once, actually. Because now the issue is... Well, I'm sure you know what the issue is. Guess you might as well heal someone. Or, actually... There's not a ton I could do. Alright, you be the support there. Rally everyone here. And then I think I'm just doing this just for experience for Azura a little bit more. And then let's wait and see what happens. Okay, so a little more defense lost. No huge deal. I'll lend you strength. <laughs> defense lost for him. I'm a little upset that that 56% chance hit, as I always am when stupid things like that happen. I am glad the trap at least takes place first before the healing. I mean, in this case, if it were to kill someone, obviously, I would have wanted the healing to take place first, but thankfully we're good on that front for now. So if you do this, you'd be weak enough. Oh crap, but with how I have things positioned, I don't have anyone- someone will have to sacrifice a turn. Or I guess I could do this... I- yeah, I think I kinda have to. Go. We'll see what happens. I can support you. <gasps> Such a pest! <laughs> Shame Your that that hit, has ended. but we're not dead, so something. And Leave a pretty good me. level. Good. Okay. And that Diviner is actually a good ways off. So that's, that's awesome. Let's heal Takumi. And 
let's hope that this is good. Go. Is there a plan? If you miss, this will be bad. Thank you. Thank you for not missing. See, I win. Good job. And you almost got to level up too. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so if I have Azura sing for Takumi, the Takumi could go here, probably finish him off, and the Diviner would not be able to reach. Which would be all around pleasant, you know? Um... I just have to finish this guy off somehow. So if we did 20 there, like anything else would finish. I think that's what I'm going to do then. So... Because, yeah, no one else can hit, right? Yeah, you're way off. And then you... you wouldn't be able to. Oh, actually, you would be able to hit right there. But you're gonna die. You're, the plan is for you to be dead. Maybe I should confirm that then first, I guess. Probably would be smart. Let's see what her level is. Hopefully it's something good. That was good. Uh, man, am I gonna keep talking to me on my team? Like, I kinda don't really want him, because one, I don't like his personality, and two, I just barely got him, and he's this strong, so I don't feel like I've earned it. With the other characters, you know, even if they're relatively, they're, even if they're weaker, they're my characters, you know what I mean? Like, I, I kinda feel that way, and so having him just walk on the scene and be like, hey, I'm gonna murder everyone for you, that sound good? I'm like, no, that doesn't sound good, let the others take care of it, but... At least in situations like this, he is really helpful to have, because otherwise... The problem is, with these guys and their ability to lower my defense, it's really important that I take them out before they can hit me, you know? What? Wow, yeah, that was terrible. You should be ashamed. So, maybe that's what is it? Like, he starts strong but just levels up really crappily? Is that a thing? Could that be a thing? No, it's not? Okay. <laughs> but, um... It's that sort of issue. So... I might just have to deal with it. Oh well. And... Go! You'll be all right. this is my chance. So he did hit. Not a huge deal. Um, at this point we'll move down. I ought to move up and use your rat spirit because it's more accurate and we only need to do two damage so but more support for them is kind of what I wanted experience for the I guess they're not really that weak at this point as far as levels are concerned but yeah okay oh I oh we do have a healer there he is okay so I want to heal you up a little bit more. Then I think we're pretty good to have people approach. I'm gonna have Setsuna move up. Yeah, I'll have Setsuna go there. And, oh, I thought, I thought she'd be able to move a little bit farther. My bad. I think I'm good on everything, though. Just as far as the others are concerned. Now everyone heal a little bit from Azura. Thank you, Azura. It's not... I mean, so far at least, it's not like life-saving, but it's nice to be able to have that. Okay, your resistance is 8. I want to see how you would do. And I do have Takumi as a backup, you know? But I have to heal people anyway. So why not use this now to do so? But then once I can, I should move everyone out of the spikes. Pretty, you know, pretty gradually if if need be, but definitely I should. I keep forgetting where Jacob is in this mess. Does Azura also heal every turn? No, she must not because she's not even standing on spikes and she's still a little bit injured. So let's heal you now a little bit. Not that she needs it terribly, but 
It would be good to get his staff power up, I think, a little bit more. And now we'll move you there. Get you out of this spikes. And I think that I'm good at this point. It would be nice, too, if we could just sort of let their, um, their debuffs go down. Because I think they go down every turn by one point. I've got you. Only five damage from him, so that's not too bad. Even if it does hit, which it did. I won't stand idle. Okay, that should have hit, but at least she, at least she went twice. Next. Little troop of archers there. But they're all quite close to Azura, which was intentional. Now they're healing up. Thank goodness. Um, so we have these guys here. Um, these guys up here. So you're the boss, dude. Huh? Mm, do I... Will I not be able to get the chest? What's the mission here? Rub the enemy. Oh, what if I'm not able to get the chest? It says boss guy doesn't even move. And we can't pass through thick wood. Oh, was it bad that I don't have a flyer? Because, like, Hinoka would have been able to, like, partner up with someone, fly over, and then de-partner, I suppose. Man, I really hope this... I think I have to just take care of him. Like, maybe leave her alive? Or something? But take care of him... Um, then I can get in the door and then just kill the last person after that. You know, I think I do have to leave someone like this alive because otherwise, you know, these guys, they'll fight me and I'll fight back and kill them eventually. Or I'll die trying. That could easily happen too. Cue outro, go!